Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna go on a run, and then Monica and I are going to go to a cabinet store to pick some cabinets. So we were gonna do Ikea cabinets for the kitchen, but it turns out it's, what is it, a few month wait? They won't even let you buy them. Yeah, they won't even let you order them because they're just really backed up, um, probably because of COVID when everyone had to kind of not work for a while. So we're gonna look at a local cabinet place and see if they have a similar price and style and all of that because Monica found one that can get them quicker because if we have to wait like three months or more, it, w it will be the only thing we're waiting on. Like everything will be ready to be an Airbnb except the cabinets. And so it would be worth paying a little more for them to be quicker because time is money, you know? Okay, I just finished my run. I took a different route today, went to a different park and I saw a dog that looked just like Oliver, but bigger. It was a border collie, but it looked just like Oliver. Hi, and it looked just like you. So check it out, you guys. We have the decomposed granite all over here. It's just this sandy color. I do think it looks pretty nice over here. It's just clean, kind of desert vibes, you know. Um, I'm interested to see how it looks when the ficus grows in. I honestly think that turf would have looked better in all these areas, but turf is so much more expensive and I don't think Airbnb people are gonna really care that much. So we went with decomposed granite. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of did want the white color, but I know Monica really didn't want that, but I'm getting white for the courtyard. I'm winning that battle. Oliver's like, what the F? Um, so these are lava rocks for the fire pits. And as you guys know, this is where the hot tub is gonna go. <laughs> he loves to like lick when you've worked out because you're kind of sweaty, pretty gross, but yeah, just cowboy things. I was mad. <laughs> so funny, if you start working out, he thinks you're trying to play. All right, we're ready for the day. Okay, I just got the vlog up and I'm waiting for Monica to, to get back from the store. We're gonna go um, order cabinets and tile. Got four different flavors of this cereal. It's like a healthy cereal. It actually has a good amount of protein and no sugar. Um, the peanut butter one sounds so good. So I'm gonna have this with some almond milk. Mm. Got something in the mail. Oh, it's the other sconce. So this isn't that exciting, but Monica accidentally broke one of the sconces for the bedroom that we're redoing. So I just had to order another one. That's all this is. But tomorrow I am expecting a desk and a chair. So excited for that. Getting some more feedback on the outdoor shower tile. And a lot of you guys and Instagram were just like, meh, doesn't really match the vibe. And I'm like, you know what? true and it's kind of permanent so don't want to put something in that this i don't know if you guys can see check out this blue it's like a light blue with a black shower but what about that is from that time period so the cabinet store we're going into is called cabinets of the desert we will report to you guys if they have anything good and in stock i'm nervous one time there was like a review i read of some place in the desert like the cabinet store where the people just like were like basically like your project isn't big enough for us so we don't care but you called them i know i called them but the lady like kind of scoffed at me it was weird maybe i'm being dramatic she like started laughing near the end of it and it made me feel silly maybe she was laughing at something our coworker did who knows weird so here's inside the cabinet store. It was a pretty small store, but they did have a nice selection of cabinets. They had some really cool walnut ones. You see this in a lot of these mid-century houses. So there's a darker veneer and then a brighter walnut. They also had a few countertop samples, but we ended up just kind of putting these next to them to the cabinet to see how it would look, but then also going to a separate countertop slab place. You'll see a little later. So the speckle one looked okay. I didn't really like it. I thought it was a little too busy. 
here are some sort of inspiration photos of what this walnut cabinet would look like kind of the color scheme for the kitchen obviously these are totally different layouts but it looks really cool sometimes people do that marble look on the countertop i don't know if it would really fit this house but that's kind of what the cabinets look like. Cabinets of the desert was really great, great experience. They, I don't think they laughed at you on the phone. Um, that was not the girl we were talking to. Oh. I recognize the voice of the lady that did talk to me on the phone. Oh, well, the girl that was helping us was like close to our age. So she just like got it. You know what I mean? Um, and we got this really cool walnut sample. We're going to take into a tile place to check out. So we don't have an actual price on this walnut yet, but it's beautiful it is nice it's so pretty yeah so there's a walnut veneer that's 20 percent less expensive but when you're talking 20 percent, i feel like you may as well just like get the one that you really like if it was twice or three times the price then yeah maybe go with the veneer but like it's just much higher like she quality even said to us it's not going to be like a thousands dollar difference you know yeah she said it won't be much because it's a small kitchen yeah so now we're going to go into a tile place Maybe we'll find more outdoor tile, actually. This is in Palm Desert also. It's called Arizona Tile. And, um... Confusing name. Confusing name because it, it probably has tile, but it's also just slabs oh, of granite, quartz, Why Arizona, marble. Though? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. we're gonna check it out. Arizona Tile. Okay, this is really cool. They have so many different kinds. This place is really fun to look through. It's just like it's called quartzite. Quartz. What is it? I don't know, but it's weird. Yeah, this I've seen as little tables at EPNLP. Oh, really? They have like this kind of thing, but it's more gray. It's a little more understated than that, but it looks cool for like outdoor tables. It's a little much for for a kitchen, in my opinion. But these ones, I think the stones are just way too big. They are too big, yeah. And then you've got the classic. This is so popular. Every house that's flipped gets this kind of No, quartz. you know what kind they get? They don't get that one. They get like... Like a cheaper one? They get like... Uh, that? It's one where there's like just this one. Oh, you're right. That is it. That's like what everyone gets. Yeah. Or like that. Yeah. This is crazy it's this huge warehouse of stone so they gave us this little thing to match up what is what yeah um, <laughs> look at this one there's just like a random brown yeah, spot weird Whoa. it's just so impressive to see such a huge slab of this wow look at that Kind of in awe like these stones are so beautiful just really pretty like even the ones i think are kind of ugly for a kitchen i still think are really cool in general you know oh whoa this is crazy to see this so big yeah this i don't think is the one. Oh, oops this right here would look good with the walnut we think because it's it's got a little texture to it but it's still simple enough or maybe this and it doesn't have like the sparkle let's see hmm I honestly I, I think like. it looks better with the darker walnut veneer I don't know yeah I just I think for this kind of walnut it looks better just plain all white don't you it's all white slab simple this is just a little much for such a bright walnut but maybe I mean what are your thoughts on the more marbly looking Stuff. Yeah, that could look good with it. Like, I've seen it done before and it looks pretty good. Kind of trendy, but... Mm. I still think it's just a little too much. Like, I think this just needs a simple white. I see what you're saying. I you worry know? that, like... That's hard for it to stay looking clean. Like, you see the little stains right here? No. Yeah, when we lived at that one apartment, it like kind of stained. Funky colors. Um, hmm, let me see, let me see. I would probably do that one in the corner. Yeah, nice. The pink would match the umbrellas, or the blue would just look good with the pool and just in general. The blue is cool. That's pretty cool. Different colors, but something like that. 
Mm. This I think would blend into the wall pretty good too. And it's 4.43 per square foot, which is not much at all. That's how much it would cost. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I got a sample of this for the outdoor shower. It's kind of handmade looking. Um, but I think it would be cool and it's so much less expensive than that other one. Right. So this is like 450 per square foot. And then maybe this sort of white stone for the flooring or teak. I don't really know yet, but we got samples. We're going into another tile and stone store. We'll just compare prices, see if they have anything different. And let's more. check it out. Do you guys remember when I was jokingly telling Monica we should totally get stuff that I knew she would hate while I found something? She would hate this. Um, actually found a really cool one for the outdoor shower. Yeah, come check it out. So it's this one. You're funny. <laughs> no shade if you have that. I just knew Monica personally would not like it. Okay, so this is kind of that same blue tile. You think? I kind of like this one more. So they have darker stone for the flooring. Or oh, that's kind of cool. You think teak? I don't see your vision with that. Maybe you need to show me those. This is such bathroom tile. I love it. Okay. The white okay, balance yeah. is super off, but I actually like this marbly look. It's just quartz, but it, you know, looks like marble or whatever. Yeah. Okay, I posted a poll on my Instagram story to see what you guys all thought, and everyone loved the marble countertop over the speckled one. And also they like texture, so like either the speckled or the marble over plain white. So I thought that was interesting. Follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna vote on these because I post house updates on here and I've been doing a lot of polls too. Funny how all these tile stores have just like a ton of different types of tile on the ground to give you samples. So it seems like all these tile and stone places have the same sorts of inventory, but they differ on price a little bit. So I've just been writing it all down to compare. Um, Arizona tile had a better price for that blue outdoor shower tile. And I think they had a little better price actually for the countertops too. Yeah. So yeah. And our last errand, I'm pretty sure. It's not. It's we have not. to give those tiles back. Oh yeah, second to last Aaron. We're stopping by Lowe's. We need to get something for that tile to be smoothed out and then also a keyless entry door system thing. Guys, Monica got this new fridge for the townhouse in Seattle. The company actually, they sent it to you, right? Yeah, it was so nice. Cause your fridge was breaking. It was like not actually freezing yeah, stuff. This is a very cool fridge. It looks super sleek. Built-in water filter. Oh, this oh. is where you get water? Oh sweet, I was wondering about That's that. That's pretty it's interesting. Like very cool. By High Fence, love the look of it. It's yeah. 36 inches wide, otherwise we were gonna have it here. Yeah, it doesn't fit in Palm Springs. Yeah. I would have really liked it though. Dang, yeah. it looks nice. I like how it doesn't have doors. It just has like these. I don't know why we're in this section. <laughs> I just wanted to see it. Oh, okay. So we're looking for some kind of compound for that wall. Andy, when you come to the whatever the hell store Lowe's. and you start to actually know where things are. Yeah, we got the wallboard compound. And now we'll look for a little keyless entry thing. You love to see it. Yeah. You love to see it. Okay, you guys, barbecues are something I never ever looked at the, pro the price of and it's actually less than I thought. I don't know, I thought they'd be, I thought they'd all be like that much. So the other day we looked at Home Depot for plants and now we're checking out Lowe's crop of plants. Kind of got the same stuff. What? Like big agave over there. Yeah, I love those really big agaves. I think we actually need to come here with the truck though because we don't really have room for... Look at these little olive trees. They're cute. All right, we ended up popping by Home Depot too because they had a better outdoor landscaping light for the entryway. So Monica went in to grab it. It's about 50-50 on the outdoor tile. Although I feel like now, after thinking about it for a while, I'm not as into it as I was before. I just am thinking maybe something else will fit better. Um, but people love the marbly kind of tile. I just don't know if it's so Palm Springs. It's not really mid-century modern and it might go out of style soon. I don't know. I feel like just a plain basic white might be the move because really I don't see that being noticeably out of style. You know what I mean? But everyone voted for texture and people don't really like the speckled one. But I do think it is a little more mid-century. I don't know. 
I don't know guys. I think if this was a kitchen in a condo in LA or Seattle or something like that, then I would fully be like, yes, the marble. But I just don't know. I don't know because it's in Palm Springs and it's a mid-century house, the marble seems random. It doesn't really fit. So I just am not sure. But I do like the marble for a different area. Okay, last errand of the day. I'm taking those tile samples back. The one for the outdoor shower that we're not gonna do. Okay. Check it out. We got some rocks in here now. And the DG, which isn't, it's gonna be like more compacted so it'll look a little better. Silly cow, always loving to sit in the dirt he just loves it i mean the dg you love it cow all right let's see what everyone thinks of this tile sample so this is for the bottom yeah great go with it are you not gonna do the teak floor i like the teak uh-oh if my parents like it a little too much i'm worried would you say because <laughs> we have very different floor. taste yeah we can still do teak um i think that would look cool and yeah the blue i think will look good let's take a look at it over there so there we are just a bunch of these guys let's check this out in here oh here, wow i ran out it is looking nice and smooth yeah i had to you'll do one coat and then when it dries you can see it's so wet we'll lightly sand it and hit it a second time and then it will be ready for wallpaper yeah so tonight i think i can do the bottom oh we'll nice. prime it Nice. Amazing. Currently signing some papers to refinance the Seattle townhouse. Monica just signed them. And $1,000 a month. Yeah, refinancing this house saves $1,000 a month. Crazy. So it was a no-brainer. It's because we bought that house back in the fall of 2019 and interest rates were higher. Interest rates have dropped. So we are locking in a lower rate. Simple as that. Oliver really enjoyed his park time. Park time for Olive. Hi. Olive, Olive it's okay. Protecting. We went there for an hour. An hour, Olive. Dad Church got the El Patron for dinner. Okay, we gave him some dry, but he has a nice wet food on. Yum.